Samsung has finally done it. What's up guys? So Samsung has officially announced the world's first 200 megapixel sensor, the Isocell HP1. We also have our first look at the world's first flex in, flex out foldable smartphone, which is demonstrated by Samsung display. We'll be taking a look at that later. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it. So Isocell HP1 is indeed a full blooded 200 megapixel sensor. It brings a brand new chameleon cell technology technology, which you may be thinking, what the hell is that? It's actually a dual binning mode tech. So this sensor has a 2x2 pixel binning mode for 50 megapixel photos and a 4x4 pixel binning mode for those 12.5 megapixel images. There's also going to be a dedicated 200 megapixel mode at 0.64 micrometer pixel size. The sensor also supports 8K video recording with 30 FPS, 4K video recording at 120 frames per second. It's definitely a full on flagship sensor. Now considering all the tech that is packing it's not a huge sensor still this won't be used on the s22 ultra as per latest leaks samsung will be bringing a new updated 108 megapixel sensor for its own flagship so who's going to use the isocell hp1 well xiaomi is going to be the first brand using this sensor on their mi 12 flagship phone now, along with this samsung also officially announced the isocell gn5 which by its number it sounds like a successor to the isocell gn1 but actually it's just a smaller version of the isocell GN1 still packing the same specs but with a crazy ultra fast autofocus technology. I'm actually very excited about the Isocell GN5 because I really hope to see this sensor on next Galaxy A series in 2022. Also in the news we have some breaking news regarding the Galaxy S21 FE. It seems like it's going to be delayed. According to John Prosser the launch of this phone is actually slipped till October 29th. That is quite far away and pretty close to the S22 series launch which is going to happen in the month of January. This potential delay could be because of the global chip shortage. According to South Korean media, Samsung has initially planned up to 10 million units for the S21 FE and now we're just gonna see up to 3 million units. Based on the current situation, I think this is the right thing to do because considering the S22 series is coming in the month of January, I think 3 million units are fine for two months. Now lastly, we have the first look at the brand new tri-folding Samsung device. Uh, this was actually demonstrated by Samsung Display. It's just a concept at the moment, so the actual final device can look different. It's rocking a 7.2 inch wide OLED display that has a inner as well as outer folding mechanism. So it can be compact depending on its folding position. And when completely unfolded, it's a full on tablet. Samsung says that it can be a multitasking beast as shown in various examples. You can use multiple applications at the same time. Right now, it's just a concept phone. So most likely we won't won't see this phone in the market until 2023 but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below with that being said that's all the latest news samsung has finally done it the 200 megapixel sensor is now official be sure to follow me on instagram and with that being said i'll see you later peace out